I'm not even confined to, you know, herbals and uh, essential oils. I didn't mention those, but there are lots of essential oils. Probably among the best antibiotics that we have just before antibiotics uh, arrive were in fact essential oils. Lavender, for example, is known as a terrific antibiotic. Well, I'm talking about lavender oil extract, not just for the lavender plant. So I've covered all those, but then I've also looked at other disciplines altogether, different kinds of science, like homeopathy. Homeopathy doesn't have very good press just now, but let me tell you it works. They've used it for decades. People have used it for centuries. And there's really no question that my family has um, resistant or severe and dangerous infection. Homeopathy would be one of the first things that I've turned to. But I've even gone to the trouble of running the electronic devices that are known to be able to deal with things in that way. Uh, you perhaps know I'm somewhat famous for putting a device called the Strain On, the Russian Strain On, in the night. Uh, it was with a book I wrote in 1999, and we uh, pretty soon in the world come to realize that this is a very remarkable healing device. And I know sensational recovery stories to make. This is a young woman for, with uh, quite bad pneumonia, but well, she's pretty bad. She was bluish gray and sort of dark. Couldn't get out of bed. After just 15 minutes with the stun, I can't work on her chest. She was up and put a robe on and poured the antibiotics down in the toilet. And she made me a cup of coffee. And it's normal, I went back for another 10 minutes, and that's it. She was gone. So, you know, very, very quick, very effective, and very simple way, and a surprise way of beating bacteria. As I said, I've gone to the trouble of compiling all these for you. You wouldn't guess that the number of things that I've discovered that I'm able to line up and turn into the most powerful armory you can imagine of antibiotic alternatives. And as I'm trying to say, many of these are not in any way inferior to antibiotics. Some of them are much better. Some of these techniques I'd rather use first, and if they didn't work, you, you could kind of consider antibiotics if you're in that frame of mind. Uh, but there's so many good things out there that you can do that perform at least as well or better than that you really need to know these things. And now I'm coming really to the important part of the message here that I've got for you, which is that we are facing dangerous things. We are threatened with going back to days like the bubonic plague and, uh, you know, uh, one of those things called pneumonia. It, it was so terrifying and sick that it used to be called Captain of the White Person and of Death. And if you've read these, you know, Victorian novels and, uh, and Regency novels, you know, John Ashton and so on, you must, you must remember these kind of stories where someone gets a chill and then uh, all of a sudden they're involved with a fever and within 24 hours they've got a raging, raging temperature, they're raving and delirious. And then and they die and everyone's gathered around their bed and sometimes the person died within 24 or 36 hours. Uh, or sometimes there was this big crisis, you know, the person's, uh, the, the, the temperature go up and up and up and up and all of a sudden it would resolve with all that crisis, that's the most time. And uh, the person would uh, wake up and think it's going to suddenly and then to turn it off. They survived, but you know, people, people actually didn't. Uh, so you need, to, you need to understand what it is that we're up against and what the options are. There are plenty of opportunities for you to learn these things, but please, this is my message, do not wait until it happens. You can't afford to do that. I'm trying to explain to you how terrifyingly quick these things can be. And if you want to uh, laze around and lurch around and think, well, you know, if, I, if you've got a problem, you know, maybe I'll go to Google and research it. It's too late. Somebody's going to die. You need to learn now. And you need to learn thoroughly what your opportunities and choices are. And I've done the research work for you. All you have to do is get my e-book, uh, my e-report, and read it and make sure you understand it. Uh, and you're not, you're not going to have to pass any kind of exam. <laughs> But make sure you understand what I'm saying, that you understand your options and choices. And make sure that you fill, you fill up your medicine cabinet with the things that I've recommended so that these are standing down if something happens. Okay, well, it's very important because it's a very strong and it's probably one of the most powerful messages that I've ever put out. But we are truly facing a world without antibiotics. And in order for you to survive and the people that you love and care about to survive, without becoming the known as dramatic victims, uh, then knowledge is the way out. Knowledge is the thing that's going to save you. And uh, I can only suggest, hand on the that you get a copy of this e-book, uh, read it, learn it, and take it very much to heart. Okay, thanks for listening.